Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brother Shield. Today we're gonna come back to the Seattle emulator and we are gonna do a few tests. It's been a while since I did see in fact I'm gonna do a lot more Seattle tests um compared to other emulators. So well, before I do uh I think everything is set up. Let me just double check uh because I was playing around with the settings. No, that's not what I'm after. Fix internal resolution. Yeah, let's bring that back to default. There we go. So today we are gonna test out Spider-Man Edge of Time. So without further ado, let's begin. Just pull up the volume, there we go. Okay. At least the videos are playing, so I'm not gonna completely complain. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, my God. 
I keep trying to tell myself that I'm just jealous of Walker Sloan's progress. It was five years ago that he first showed up at Alchemax, talking about harnessing energy from the fourth dimension. Now he won't stop until he's running the place. I know his type. He's thinking beyond Alchemax, aiming towards who knows what. He's the exact type of corporate monster I've sworn to rein in. Especially that he's mucking with time travel. The year 2099 might not be much, but it's all mine. And he's not, not changing. He's been siphoning Alchemax resources into converting the gateway and the old virtual unreality lab into something else. Something dangerous. I've tried talking, but he's got no time for Miguel O'Hara. But people make time for Spider-Man. Just use the convenient access to the ventilation system to get inside, and then Walker and I can have a little chat. Sloan's up to. I've got to shut it down. Okay, this is good. Now, what I'm going to try and do um after throughout the other tests, well, I'm going to continue. It's just I want to try and bump up the gra the internal resolution. There we go. Okay, let's bring it to the max and let's continue from here. We're getting a lot of stutters, which is uh well unsurprising because they need to add shader cache. Once they've added shader cache on the Android version of uh. Uh, Citra, uh, there's gonna be a lot of speed ups, so I think they're still working on it. So let us continue where we left off. I think I can still continue. So, yeah, once Shader Cache happens, that's when um, we're gonna get a huge performance boost and uh, we can get a lot more, well, bigger gameplays, I would say. Right, let's skip all these. We've seen how it runs, but this is now the max settings. And you still need to fix this little issue with the Shield TV. I need to try and see if I can change the overlays and size the screen. So, uh, all right. So max resolution. Yes. 
see they've been keeping busy in the cybernetics division. That's a lot of shocking robots down there. During the day, as Miguel O'Hara, Alchemax geneticist, I could have walked right in. But at night, the security protocols kick in. The genetics lab. Without that department, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Sloan's gotta be around here somewhere. I just know it. You'd think the largest tech developer in the world could afford to carpet their air ducts for extra comfort. Holographic assistant online. How may I serve you, Mr. Sloan? Hello, Joseph. Run a final check and initiate security bioscans. Preparing systems, Mr. Sloan. This won't take long. Bioscan sequence initiated. Time research lab granted, Mr. Slow. Oh, it's really slow down. Slow down, Miguel. Take your time. Don't want to get caught here. How come next should be thanking me? Star Fujikawa Industries is going to take over this entire corporation. Unless I'm still subject to that. Outside the box, I have to do it, sir. Yes, you should find out. I knew it was up to something. Security scan sequence 
It's actually useful. Yep, he's heading for his time research lab. All right, there's an access point near the generator. There's a lot of slowdowns, even with um the low internal resolution. That's really going to be quite something. So I'm going to end things here, actually. Uh, so this was actually a test to see how the game will perform. So it actually, well, it boots. But uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time, or at least the emulator, Sietra, and definitely needs that shader cache. Once we get shader cache or proper shader cache, like PC version running in, uh, we should get some beautiful performance boost but i think it's more to fix the stutters because there's a lot of stutters so let me know what you think about this test in the comments below if you guys have a game that you want me to test uh on the nvidia shield uh with the Citra emulator please um name the game i'll um do give a quick test and i'll do a video on it and uh as always guys uh this has been your boy brother shield take care and peace bitchu.tv